What's good, y'all? It's your girl here. Just got a uh, same damn post in this video. It's got some good ass freaking news. Like, wow. Anyways, though, uh, go ahead and get started with it. Called up some restaurants. Got one possible one. Wants me to come in and pin the application. And called some other ones. They not hiring at the moment. Said come back in a few weeks. I'm like, damn. What the fuck? And um, the last one I just recently called um, some Chinese restaurant that got some nice, wonderful sushi. Like, oh my goodness. That sushi looks so damn good. I mean, that shit look good. I'm about to get to eat me some now, actually. And I uh, got me some yogurt here that I'm getting ready to get into. Almost just forgot about that motherfucker shit. <laughs> to be out of it. But, uh... Yeah, I picked this up, and I got another one in the refrigerator, sitting in the freezer. The top, not the bottom, because picked up the bottom, we got at least a day uh, and a half to get to it before that shit starts to, you know, die down. I'm going to have to keep it in the top. It'll be good as long as you don't um, leave it in there for like four or five days, because <laughs> then that shit will get bad. So, anyways, though. Went over here, called that restaurant up, and a lady picked up the phone, and I asked her if she was they was hiring, and it sounded like they was desperate. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, what's y'all be looking for? We, we, we got this open, we got that open. I'm just like dishwashing. She's like, oh, okay. Uh, can you come? Can you come? What uh, come to date? <laughs> I'm like, damn. Bro, they really desperate. So, um... That's good for me because I need something as soon as possible. And um, so, yeah, anyways, she said we could talk about like how much it pays. So we could talk about when you uh, receive, when you come here. So <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know how it's going to go for the respect thing. Most likely ain't going to be no respect thing, but it's a quick paying job probably. Most likely probably going to get plenty of hours. And um, communication thing probably gonna be hard, but you know, it's something. Hopefully, I can make at least two paychecks out of it. Hopefully, at least one. At least give me one. <laughs> this shit. So um, I'm gonna see if we can talk about it. We gonna see so if I had um any experience, obviously. But uh, she want me to come in today at three o'clock. I'm like today. She's like yeah. I'm like. Cause I don't want to go nowhere, fuck. I just want to go in and sit back and relax while I'm playing. And if I start today, I start today. It is what it is, you know, it's got to go do with the um, punches, you know, it's got to make it drill. So, uh, so I'm going to come in today for three. Going to show me everything. She's going to like show me everything right off the bat, like this and that. I'm show you this, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, damn, so basically she's saying, you hired. <laughs> So, um, anyways, though, it's just a crazy freaking day I'm going to do. And, um, uh, right after I got the phone with her, watching the YouTube video, getting ready to settle down and eat, bump, bump, I'm just like, fuck, no. It's this, um, uh, guy that comes over, uh, for my, um, old roommate that just moved out and, uh, coming to give her food and kind of putting the order for her. So she can make some money, if you know what I mean. And, uh, yeah, I told her that she moved. Told her the number of the place. And, yeah. So he knows that now. But he said, oh, I can come over here for you, huh? I can come over here bring you. No, bitch. I don't want nothing to do with you, motherfucker. Fuck no. <laughs> like, don't tell him. What the fuck? I'm going to tell somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? be fucking coming over here for me? Shit. But I uh, gave me a little bag of some stupid ass shit. You know, better than nothing, obviously, but I don't need it. I just made groceries. But, um, anyways, though, you gonna go ahead and say this and that and disrespect me and shit. Talk about, all right, um, uh, little brother, all right, um, uh, all right, man, all right, um, uh, guy, do whatever the fuck. A motherfucker disrespecting me like four or five times, talking about coming over here, bringing me food, coming over here. Oh, I ain't see you in a long time. Bitch, you disrespect me. Boy. 
week. You motherfucker had me hot. I ain't worried about this shit now. Cause I'm about to go in and relax. Fuck all that stupid ass nonsense. Fuck all that um shit, bro. I'm about to go in and draw my shit. Get ready to go for the job interview. And uh, fuck, do my thing. And I'm going to head out. Probably, I'm going to have to leave out. Uh, I think she said 3 or 3.30. I'm going to try to be there for 3. So I got like an hour and 40 minutes. So I got enough time to watch me a movie or a TV show. And uh, get something in me. And go ahead and relax. Calm my nerves. Because this bitch ass motherfucker. Which I really can't be mad at him. Or anything like that. Because... He does have a dancer drum, and from what I heard from the person that brought me around today, he has, um, he flips, like, one moment he's nice, the next moment he's pretty angry. I forgot what you call that, but, um, anyway, he's dope. He said how he had put his hands on her. She said he had slapped her or whatever because of, uh, some stupid shit. Uh, it's, it's really childish, like some stupid shit about putting food on a couch or she was sitting on the edge of the bed or some shit like that and he was just changing up over it or whatever, I don't know, some crazy shit and he just flipped out about it and then wind up popping her in the uh, face or mouth or whatever and she called pigs or whatever on him and he got to go to court and this and that for it, it's just stupid shit and basically you can't be mad at him for nothing because he do have a down syndrome. Anybody can obviously see that who has common sense. But 80, 90 something percent people around here don't have common sense. So, yeah, they really don't see that. And, uh, yeah, anyways, though, I'm going to leave it as that. Just want to let y'all know. Like I said, I'll let y'all know more uh, if something happens. And it's just a fucking crazy fucking week. This whole week, been, this past fucking month been crazy. And now this whole month starting off crazy, like, what the fuck is going on? This virus shit really got shit flipping up and down, like, oh my goodness. So let me go ahead and enjoy myself. I'll let y'all know um, after I finish the interview at this place. I'm about to go ahead and put this phone on, these phones on charge. And, um, yeah, and uh, I got the money to pay my landlord and everything I'm gonna have some money left over and uh, I'm gonna just hang on to that cuz ain't nothing else I need so till I get me a job I can't invest into what I want to get invested into and uh, for the bank thing I did not go today I was wanting to go but a person that was bringing me around wasn't stable enough because she took a mess or whatever as she's saying but she seemed pretty stable when she was talking on the phone so um I'm most likely, she talking about going Monday. I am not about to wait no fucking Monday to go up there and get this shit done. I'm trying to get this shit done as soon as possible so I can start investing. So, um, anyways, though, I'm probably going to go in the morning or sometime that day. I want to feel like it when I'm up to it. Um, but besides that, I haven't been able to get to the bank. The app don't work for me. The uh, website don't work for me because it acts from some type of, some type of card is wanting me to um enter and i don't have some type of number so i don't know Ooh, that's reflex acting up so anyways though peace yeah have a good one it's your girl i'm gonna let you know more soon today once i come back home or hitting home so peace